Welcome to the Reef Patrol channel. My name is Vanessa Karakea, and in this video, we're gonna sum up all the costs of our latest trip to Curacao, a wonderful island in the Dutch Caribbean. We traveled to Curacao at the end of August to the beginning of September this year. It's a wonderful time of year. The water is really nice and warm. Essentially, Curacao is a destination you can travel to all year long because it never really gets cold. But in this video, we're not going to be talking about the island itself and all the activities you can do there. That's going to be covered in upcoming videos, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. So let's get started and dive right into the costs and calculations of how much does it cost to travel to Curacao. Here we go. First off, we're going to start with the cab ride from the studio to the Frankfurt airport. And that was $40 each way, so $80 in total for a cab ride getting to the airport and back. Of course, you can save on that if you have friends that can drive you there. The plane ticket, we flew with KLM from Frankfurt to Curacao over Amsterdam. That was $965 per person. So in total, that's $1,930. You can get it a lot cheaper if you book early in advance. With KLM, you can reserve your seats in advance and that's gonna cost you $117 for two people for all the flights. So from Frankfurt to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Curacao and all the way back. Because we were there to dive and film, we had to take an extra suitcase each. So the prices for extra luggage depend on the airlines. With KLM, 23 kilograms of extra luggage costs $80 one way. So that's $160 for one person there and back. And for two, it would be $320. Of course, when you're waiting at the airport, you want to drink something and have some snacks. We paid $20 in total for that. Then arriving in Curacao, you need a car to travel around the island. We got the rent car on a bargain. It included a third party insurance and in total it was $510. This was a bargain, but you can get similar prices if you just check the internet. We filled up the car two times. We received it full, so we had to fill it up once during the trip and once at the end when we handed it back. And that was around about $60 per tank, so $120. Next up is accommodation. The first week we stayed in the Piscadera Bay area with Airbnb and that cost us $60 per night. We stayed there for seven nights, so that's $420 for the first week. And the second week we stayed in the Casabao area, that was $168 per night and we stayed eight nights, so that's a total of $1,347. We stayed in two locations because we were visiting friends on the eastern side of the island and wanted to visit all the dive spots on the eastern side of the island. And in the second week, we went to the Casabao area because that's more the western part of the island, so we could actually dive the, the western dive sites without having lots of travel time. The island's pretty small, but it's nice to have the dive spots more or less around the corner. Foods and drinks. We went out for dinner and lunch like four or five times. Pizza, burgers, that was about $140 in total. But most of the money we spent on groceries because we didn't want to be obligated to go out to dinner and whatever. So we wanted to cook ourselves and be flexible and have everything there and use the kitchens. But we didn't shop on a budget. You can go way cheaper if you go to smaller supermarkets or you know go to the local fruit and vegetable markets. There it's gonna be a lot cheaper. The total was $547. That's about $20 per person per day during the course of two weeks. For the diving, it's about seven to nine dollars per tank. It can go up to 12 to 15. It just depends on the dive shop, but if you check the websites in advance, they usually have a price list and then you can choose the dive shop with the cheapest price in your area. So in total for the dive tanks, we've spent around $400. Obviously, if you're traveling, you're not going to bring your weights. That's about $3 per day per person. But if you rent them for two weeks, you can usually get a good price. So we paid $60 for two people for all the weights. And we brought our own dive gear. That's why we needed the two extra luggages. So we didn't have to rent the gear on location. In Curacao, there are beaches that are free, wild beaches. And if you want to go diving, you don't have to pay anything. You can just walk into the water. 
and some beaches you have to pay an entry fee. And when you pay this entry fee, you can use all the facilities, the diving facilities and everything and that's covered in that fee. Usually it's around $5 to $10 and in total we spent around $30. And if you want to lie on a beach chair, sometimes that's included in the price and sometimes you have to pay the beach chair extra. One day we did a trip to Christopher Park, which is um, a place where you can go hiking up the mountain. And that was $29 for two people, so roughly $15 per person for the entry. To sum up everything, in total for two people, for two weeks, it was around $6,000. That's $3,000 per person for two weeks, including diving and everything else. We didn't get the cheapest flights, we booked the flights last minute, so you can definitely save a bit of money if you book in advance. And if you don't need the extra luggages, you can save money there. Also, you don't need to reserve the seats. The accommodation in the second week was very expensive. This was planned, but we could have at least gone for $1,000 cheaper, like in the first week. And we didn't shop groceries on the budget. So you can for sure fly, stay and dive in Curacao for at least under $2,500 for two weeks. I hope this video was helpful to you. In the next video, we're going to be diving deeper into the island of Curacao, what you can do on the island, where to dive, and what you need to know before traveling to Curacao. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions on Curacao, feel free to comment below, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode.